I'm Rachel. Um, I'm one of the forensic medical officers at Clinical Forensic Medicine at VIFM and I'm also currently the Medical Administration Registrar. I grew up as a bit of a weird kid and I thought that forensics was the coolest thing in the world, um, especially when I was in high school. Um, and when I found out that there was a chance to work here, I thought that was my dream come true. I think a funny thing about working as a doctor at the VIFM that I think people might not think about is that we're actually doctors working in a co corporate environment, which is a pretty funny thing for a junior doctor, I think. Um, it was a bit of a culture shock when I first joined. <laughs> and uh, I don't think I even really knew how to write an email properly. So that was pretty good. But what I really loved was, even though it was a bit different from the usual environment that doctors are in, we've got really, really supportive senior doctors here with us. They're extremely experienced and they've been really a really great part of helping me fit in, settle in and feel comfortable in this environment. Not many people know much about what we do here at Clinical Forensic Medicine. I've got one line that I always say now that makes it very clear. The forensic pathologists deal with the dead and we deal with the living. Um, we work with victims of crime um, as well as people who have alleged they have committed crimes. We do examinations, we go to police stations, we go to hospitals, um, and our job is to work with the police, work with the judicial system um, in um, assessing the forensic um, medical issues inside a situation, collecting evidence um, and giving opinions um, based on our expertise. Victim survivors of sexual assault, physical assault. Our role inside that arena is to be the person who is often the first contact um, for that patient. We go into that situation in a very acute period and we work in conjunction with police in looking after that patient, assessing them, finding out what we can do to help them inside a judicial time. The chance that you get to be a person um, for people in an incredibly vulnerable time you get to just step into that and be a human to them. And to me, that's one of the most powerful parts of what we get to do.